Hello guys, today we will be doing the first team transfer, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Villarreal career mode, it's me Dan back again and today we will be doing the first team transfers, uh, we've got quite a few transfers to go through so just before we start I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently and I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing so thank you guys for that as well. And if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button as it does really help. And don't forget to like the video as well as it helps the videos get out more and stuff like that and stuff like that. Uh, right, so yeah, uh, we started the, the career mode on Friday. Today we will be doing the first team transfers. Um, we have got quite a lot of things to do. Um, obviously, um, we need to sign a couple of players that we need to do. Um, it's quite a lot for the first team, actually. Um yeah, so with that, <laughs> I've looked at a couple. Tra I've looked at a couple. Pl you know, positions that obviously we need. Obviously, I think the only player that we're going to be keeping in that first team is Paul Torres. I think everyone is going, and we'll get onto that in a second. So let's go ahead and let's go to the transfer hub, and I'll show you the transfers which we have planned. Goalkeeper. Uh, Emiliano Marta Martinez. I thought, you know what, we've got an Argentine uh, goalkeeper in Juan Amaro Rulli. Well, why don't we bring the other Argentinian, Argentinian, uh, is it Argentine or Argentinian? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's bring the other goalkeeper from Argentina. So I thought, yeah, let's get him. And he's got a leadership role as well. He's got looks like a quite a good goalkeeper. He's got leadership, long throw, team player, comes for crosses. So. Yeah, he looks okay. And he's six foot five. I didn't realise he's that tall. Left back, um, there's so many options. I was gonna go with Jose Gaia, I was gonna go with Grimaldo, but I thought, you know what? We're in the Champions League. Let's try and nick Theo Hernandez from AC Milan. Um we need a you know, we need a big set big left back and I thought Theo Hernandez, you know, I think he'll be a nice signing for us as left back. And then right back Obviously, there's not many right backs in the game who are that good. Uh, so I've gone with Juan Basaka because I know he's good and he's just a good defending centre back, uh, right back. Sorry. Um, so there's that. At centre back, I thought let's go with uh, Antonio Rogier because or Antonio Rogier, <laughs> Antonio Rudiger, um, because he's only got 12 months left and he's going to be cheap. So I thought, why not? Uh, go for him. I think he will be a be really good, uh, you know, centre back. I, you know, he'll be a good leader to that centre back role as well. Uh, you know, he's, I think he will be the oldest out of the uh, all of them. So there we go. And then same with with Frank Yannick Kessier. Um, I thought, you know, we need a CDM, and I I do know that uh, Frank Kessier has only twelve months left as well. So he's going to be quite cheap as well. So I thought, you know what, let's go for him. I think he will be a good uh, CDM for us. And again, he's got that uh, team player role, so which is really good. Uh, and then next player, I thought, let's go with uh, James Madison. As we need a couple, we need a we need an English player to go with Aaron Wambazak. And I thought, you know what, let's go with James Madison. Uh, James Madison, he's a cam, but he can play centre midfield. Uh, so again, he's 24. You know, he's young enough. He hopefully he'll grow. Um, he'll be like an attacking centre midfielder. Um, so, yeah, there we go. And then same thing with Lorenzo Pellegrini. I thought we've got, you know, the CDM. We might as well go with two. Uh, well, I'd, I'd say Lorenzo Pellegrini is more of a all-rounder centre, centre mid. And that's what we're going to have with Lorenzo Pellegrini. Again, he's got a leadership. So we've got, we're signing quite a few leaders in this team, in this first team. So fingers crossed. It will take us uh, to our, you know, board objectives, which I think where we've got to go to, I think we've got to get to the quarterfinal of the Champions League, um, if I'm not too mistaken. Is it quarterfinal? It is the quarterfinal. So there we go. Um, right. So, yeah. Uh, what, was, what was we on? We were on Lorenzo Pellegrini. So, uh, Leroy Sane. I thought, you know what? Let's go with Leroy Sane as a left winger. Um, just because I think he'll be a straight swap with Gerard Moreno. Um, I was going to sign him as a striker, but then I thought, you know what? I don't think he will. Um, I think it will take him ages to become a striker. So 
I thought, you know what, let's just have him as a left wing. He'll, you know, he's going to be our straight swap with Gerard Moreno, and he's going to be like the main attacker for us. And then I thought, Germany, why not Timo Werner? Um, you know, we are signing from Chelsea. I think he's a really good player in this game. So, again, the passing doesn't really help as the striker. But, again, I think he will do well, fingers crossed. And then, yeah, uh, right wing, I'm... <sighs> I was like, well, I haven't signed any Spanish players to this first team. So I thought, you know what? Let's go with Mikel Ayazabal. Um, you know, we've had him before. He, again, we're signing another leader, um, leadership role. But I think, you know, he's not a right... He's a more of a cam more than anything. He hasn't, you know, he hasn't got the pace. So he's going to be that winger who cuts inside um, quite a lot. So he's going to play out on the right, um, obviously, because... Um, Leroy Sane can't really... He's got a two-star weak foot, so he can't really play there, can he? Uh, so, yeah, we're going to try and sign Mikel Ayazabal as well. So let's go and do this by overall, and let's go and approach to buy Leroy Sane then, shall we? So this is going to be the straight swap with Gerard Moreno. Fingers crossed they do want him, and hopefully it won't cost us as much. Uh, oh, it's going to cost us arm legs. So they do want Gerard Moreno. Um, but let's just try 45 so far. 61, they're going down, so that's good. Um, let's try 53, 53 million. Yep, so there we go. 53 million plus Gerard Moreno. I probably have overpaid for him, and I probably should have sold Gerard Moreno, to be honest. Uh, but I thought, you know what, straight swap with Leroy Sane. He's going to be our main, you know, a main guy at, up front. So, well... Yeah, will he be? Yeah, well, he's a top overall player, I think. Um, so there we go. Um, wages, I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to do 80,000. And he accepts that. So there we go. So that's good. Um, so let's do the next high overrated player. So it will be Rogier, But I think we'll try. Yeah, let's go with Ant um, Antonio Rogier. Why do I keep calling him Rogier? It's Rudiger. Um <laughs> Let's go with Mandy. Uh, uh, so Mandy uh, for him, and again twenty million because again he's not that you know he's not that much, and he's only got twelve months left on his contract, so we should be able to get him for a nice deal for him. Thirty-three. I bet if we turn that down to thirty, that should do it. Yes, there we go. Thirty million plus um, that Mandy guy, and we're going to be signing Antonio Rudiger. Uh, he will be crucial as well. So obviously he is the main, he's going to be, you know, he, by the time of the end of, you know, the season, he's going to be 29. But obviously we'll keep him for this season and then obviously we'll see what happens, you know, with him uh, at the end of the season. If he's still 85, hopefully he's still an 85 um, but there we go. We've signed Antonio Rudiger. Uh, next player on the list is Mikel Yarsbal. This is going to be the one that's going to, uh, you know, it's going to cost arm and leg. Uh, but have we got wingers that we can... So we've got Moy Gomez. Uh, we could give them Moy Gomez because we're not going to be using him. Uh, but again, it's going to cost us arm and leg. So Moy Gomez plus... Oh, well, it's actually not too bad. I was thinking something like that. Oh no, they really want 89 million. Um, should we do. Oh no, we've done 79, didn't we? Let's do 81. Yep, there we go. 81 million plus Moy Gomez. I probably overpaid for him, but again, we are just trying to get these players in and then, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be good. So I don't know who our I don't know who our captain's going to be for the first team because we've got so many leaders. So I'm not too sure what we're going to do with that. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Um, oh, there we go. He's, he's accepted wages. Also, the wages in the, the Spanish league is really low. What I've noticed as well. Um, so I'm quite surprised about that. So Emiliano Martinez, welcome. Well, actually, he's not welcome to the team yet. Um, obviously, we're going to give them Sergio Asensio. Um, and let's say, well, let's say 30 million. Let's give them the 30 million player value. And yeah, there we go. 34. I don't mind paying an extra 4 million for Emiliano Martinez. So again, you know, Martinez might not be the main goalkeeper for the, uh, for the career mode. Fingers crossed he will be. 
Um, you know, he's only 28, so, you know, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, apparently, he does get to uh, up to an 87. So if he does get up to an 87 in this career mode, I'll be happy with him. So um, there's that. And again, like, you know, 40,000 wage wages for him is ridiculous. Uh, right, so let's go with Fio Hernandez next. So obviously... With Fio Hernandez, we will be swapping with a left back slash right back. So obviously we're keeping um what's his name? Oh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Obviously, we're keeping Estupian, Estup, whatever his name is, and um Serge Aurier. Um so yeah, let's do that. And that is 76 million. Let's go with 66. We accept that? No. Um, okay, let's just do 70 then. See if we can save at least 6 million. And I probably would have got him for 68 or something like that. But there we go. So, Theo Hernandez, he will be on that left-hand side. So, obviously, um, I signed Theo Hernandez because he is a high-rated, overall-rated player. And I thought, well, because, you know, obviously we're keeping Pau Torres. We're going to keep Pau Torres in that first team. And... You know, we definitely need um, someone who can, you know, who's going to be good overall on that left-hand side because I didn't want, you know, two low 80 rated players over that side when, you know, we could have got someone else. Um, yeah, so we're going to be keeping Estupinian and Serge Aurier. Obviously, they're going to be uh, our backup, left back and right back. Obviously, Juan, Juan Foyt is going to be our uh, centre, one of our backup centre-backs, so we don't really need him well we do really need him and uh yeah we're swapping mario gaspar for uh aaron wan basaka will they do 35 nope uh let's just do 37 then they should accept that there we go right so on to the player contract then let's go will he accept important he will there we go we'll take that then um, we need to give a couple of importance to a couple of players as well, because obviously some of these players might not, you know, be here at the end of the season. So you never know. Um, well, I expect they will be here, but, um, you know, see what happens. Um, right. So with Kessier, I was thinking just swapping uh, Danny Parejo for him, but I think we're overpaying him for that. So we're going to go with Francis Coquelin. And let's just go 30 million and then see if they accept that, which they do. So there we go. I'll probably just overpaid for him there. Um, so I might sell Danny Parejo, you know, uh, just to see if we can get a good, um, you know, see if we can get a good uh, price for Danny Parejo. Fingers crossed we can. Or if we need him, you know, for a second player that we need him for. So... Let's see what happens. Right. He accepts for 40 grand, so that's good. Um, right, so James Madison, I think he will do another straight swap with a uh, midfielder. So Trigueros, why not? He is the uh, captain. They do want Trigueros. That's good. Um, let's just get that down to four, 30 million, and they should accept that. There we go. So welcome to the team, James Madison. And then we've literally just got two players left after that. Um, do they want important? Yes, he does. So that's good. Uh, five years. And disregard release clause. And uh, wages. Let's just go 50. Yep, he accepts it. And we just got to give him a sign-in bonus, which is fine. Uh, right, so next one is Lorenzo Pellegrini. We're not going to do his release clause because we can get him for cheaper. Uh, player swap midfielders. So again, do they want Etienne Capu? Because we're not going to be using him. And 30 million again. Uh, oh, 48. Jesus, that's quite a lot. Um, let's go with 35 and a half. Will you do that? Yes, they will. So there we go. Right, so on to Pellegrini's contract. So again, hopefully he wants to be a important first team player. That would be... Oh, no, I don't want rotation. He wants... <laughs> yeah, important. There we go. That was the wrong option. Five years, obviously. Doesn't want a release clause, which is good. And the wages is fine. There we go. And then the last but not player is uh, Timo Werner. So let's go ahead... And we could actually swap 
Timo Werner, but um, I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do Paco Elisir for him plus twenty million. It should oh twenty plus thirty. Let's get that down to thirty million. So again, we haven't. Well, I was gonna say we haven't we haven't spent that much, but we have. We have spent about four hundred million. But again, we've you know we've given other teams you know our best players as well. So you know they haven't got anything um, with it as well. Does he want important? He does. So there we go. So again, Timo Werner. Um, I think we've had him before. Haven't we had him before? In a career mode that we've done this season, we might have signed him on a um, live stream career mode. I think we have. But anyway, uh, so there we go. There's the first team. So let's put the first team in. So it will be Timo Werner there, Leroy Sane there, and obviously Kessier there, and then Lo Celso uh, there, and James Madison there. Ah, oh, he's gone down to minus one, which is fine. Um, we need to keep him there and Juan Bissaka. And then Emiliano Martinez there. So there we go, guys. So that is the first team. Don't worry about James Madison. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get him to be a centre midfielder. He says that he could be a centre midfielder. So fingers crossed uh, we can do that. And he's got good defending slash physical. So we might be able to do that. Fingers crossed we'll be able to do that. Um, so that is the first team. So hopefully that will, you know, the first team will get us there to, uh, you know, get us there to the uh, Champions League quarterfinal at least. <laughs> and hopefully for the top four, well, top three, is it? Top four for the Champions League in the La Liga? I'm not too sure. Uh, but fingers crossed we'll be able to do that. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. Next episode, we will be doing the second team transfers. I don't think there'll be that many for the second team. Um, so if there's enough time, we, we might do um the the Chelsea game um so look forward to that then guys so anyway guys I'm actually gonna end it here so please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time so right guys I'm going bye